people always ask who I am, but god damn it, they know who I am. My name is Jag. I'm here to chew gum and break the net. And I'm all out of gum. I'm the best damn news guy there is. I go where the story needs me to go. Even if it means going to some hellhole like Aranya. I've reported all the biggest cases. I was there when we needed WikiLeaks to read the state capture reports. I know how Claudia Motzenen got those striking crimson eyes. I had an exclusive interview with the dead Mopani worms on Sean Abrahams' face. But there's just one case that I've been chasing forever. The case of President Jacob Zuma and how he escaped AIDS with a goddamn shower. I've tried all the witnesses and doctors. None of them will talk. I've tracked the local news. But the local news is bullshit. I watch the cigarette burn as I wonder why Zuma's balls didn't. Smell of bullshit so intense I have to wear a buff all the time. And then it hits me. There's one witness that no one has spoken to. God damn it, it was right in front of our eyes. I interview taps in bathrooms everywhere. It's hard work, but I finally find a close relative that gives me a good lead. I finally track the shower head down. This is my chance. It's now or never. State secrets must fall. Talk! I know you saw something. You were there. Spit it out! Everyone is lying. I want the truth. You can't handle the truth! and feel a tingling in my balls. Probably the same kind of tingling Zuma felt that night. What did you see? What did you see that night? I... I saw... I saw the spear. The spear? And what? What happened, Showerhead? No, I can't. It was too much. She throws herself off the table. There's nothing I can do to stop her. She's gone. I can't give up. I try the one thing that's always worked for the government. I throw my money at the problem. The power of the Kutsas compels you. The power of the Kutsas compels you. God damn it, the power of the Kutsas compels you. She's gone. The truth is gone. I failed. I'm not proud of what I resorted to. I pray to the good Proven Gordon that I'm forgiven. But you either die a good independent reporter or live long enough to see yourself become the SABC.